Hi there, and welcome to my second video. In the first video, I um, introduced my character and talked about my plans for uh, a character library on the Unity Asset Store. In this video, I'm going to go a little bit more in depth into the character controller, and in particular, I'm going to uh, talk about jumping. So, this is my character, and uh, there are two default jumps. There's the walking jump, and there's the running jump. Now the walking jump tends to have more height, whereas the running jump tends to cover more distance. And using these two jumps, I'm going to clear the obstacle ahead. And there we go. So you can see the default jumps, uh, they work well. And you could just be, uh, you could just drop the character into your scene and uh, build around those jumps and everything would be fine. However, um, I don't expect people to necessarily do that. I understand that people might want to take this character and put it into uh, multiple uh, different situations and um, they may just have different ideas of what they want their game to be. For example, a developer may wish the character to be small and the environment to be uh, quite large in comparison. So if you look at this if you look at this obstacle here, you can see it's much larger. And if we're going to use the default jumps, you can see we've got no chance of getting up. However, um, all the jumps in this controller are uh, driven off code rather than uh, animation. So we can change a few settings and we should be able to clear these jumps. So approaching it again. Um, what I'm going to do to clear the jump, I'm going to select my character in the uh, hierarchy, go to the inspector, look for jump booster third person script, and then scroll down to find vertical walk multiplier, and I'm going to change that to 4. And there we go, we've cleared uh, a much taller, a taller height, and everything else the same distance so I can, can get to the top. Now uh, the multiplier, is a, there's a multiplier for um, the vertical walk and there's a multiplier for the vertical run, so that's the vertical run multiplier. They will um, take your jump height and they will basically multiply it. So if I've got four, I'll be jumping four times as higher. If I've got ten, I'll be jumping ten times as higher and so on. Um, there's also another control in the uh, script called uh, run boost or walk boost and what that does is it will push me further forward on any jump so no extra height but it will take me further forward so with that control I'm going to try and jump across these large gaps now on the floor I'll just you do the same thing with the default jump can see I wouldn't really get very far, maybe one third of the way. But changing these values, um, I should be able to clear this jump. Now I just want to note that these aren't multipliers in the same way as the uh, height, so you may have to change around with it a little bit before you get the right figure, um, but it's not hard to, to uh, try with trial and error. Okay, so these are also taller than the previous one, so I'm going to change my uh, vertical warp multiplier to 8 just to clear these high blocks. And now I'm going to try and get over this gap. So I'm going to look to the vertical run multiplier because I'm going to do this with a running jump. I'm going to change that to 3. Now that's not needed, but because I'm going to be jumping so much further, I'd like to give it a little bit extra height for uh, plausibility, even though it's a bit of a ridiculous jump. I'm also going to change the forward run boost now to 20. And now let's give it a go. There we go. Just about made it across there. You can see I've jumped a much, uh, much further distance. I'll try and, I'll try and just zoom out and uh, do the same thing from the side. There you go. You can see he's jumping much further now. There we go. 
Um, so that's the basics of uh, the jump controls. There's a, an extra control here called um, I'm just quickly default all these. There's an extra control here called uh, short full height. Now I may change that to full height in the final release, but it will be uh, it will be there and it, it should be uh, fairly obvious. Now this says the height at which um, the character will enter a falling state. So when I come up this ramp and jump off, you'll see that he starts to fall and land. If I do the same thing from a short distance, you can see that uh, he won't he won't enter that state. Uh, if you make this high, so I'll make this 30, he won't uh, he shouldn't enter that fall state at all. So you want to adjust that to your game. Um, it depends how soon you'd like the character to enter a fall state. I'm just going to change that back down to 10. Underneath it is a falling speed direction. Sorry, falling directional speed. And that's how uh, much control the character will have when the character... Sorry, how much control the player will have when the character is falling. Um, so I'm going to change that to... For demonstration purposes, I'll put that up to 50. You should see now that when I fall, uh, I will do so at a much... Um, at a much faster rate in terms of direction. I'll be able to go much further. <laughs> I didn't expect to make it all the way over there, but you can see how I had a lot of uh, directional control then. So you want to change that to um, whatever you feel is fit for your game. Um, apart from that, there's two graphs. Uh, I think I should do a separate video to explain the graphs. So for now, that's the jumping tutorial. Thank you for watching. Um, uh, give me any feedback and uh, I'll speak to you soon. Bye.